face everyone, I'm Jory Richard. Welcome to another show of the amazing life of the famous Jory Richard. I am famous. I speak everything in the present tense because then it convinces my subconscious mind that I have it and then it puts me in a completely different vibration, one that I'm able to attain these things. Like, I, all of a sudden, I convince my mind that I have a million dollars, that I'm Bill Gates. Then I start responding differently to situations in my life. And I believe that I am abundance. And I am good things. I'm not bad things. Never say anything bad about yourself. Because then it's going to... It's going to start training us to start thinking down and then shit's going to start popping off and fucking up in our life because it comes from our self-talk when we're talking down to ourselves, I am amazing. I love myself. I love myself and I know all things. Even though sometimes I'm wrong about things, but because I know all, then... I'm able to receive the truth when it comes. blow that shit out the window so that's that's one principle I need to organize all the different topics and put everything in order because I could speak about all these different things occult knowledge raising the vibration of the human race <coughs> But it's just random bits and pieces here and there. I need to organize everything. And then create these playlists. Separate YouTube channels. That's why I got the, the three. Hecka Set, Jory Richard, and Cheesecake. Cheesecake is just strictly dancing now. The Jory Richard channel. I'm still going to post Mocase videos on there. I'm not giving up Mocase because I don't give a fuck what anybody says. They're going to tell me that it's stupid and I should quit it. But that's what they told anybody when anyone came out with anything that's never been done. There's always going to be the naysayers and people that ridicule you and don't support you. They're going to tell you that it's stupid. But it's fucking artwork. Art, artists are always looked down upon. And they're not recognized for their greatness until they're dead. But... They will recognize me for my greatness because I got the fucking internet and I am already dead. I have already transcended to the third fucking heaven. And I am in the kingdom of God in paradise. That is where I am broadcasting from. This is from paradise. I could pull up my bank account right now and show you that I have uh, almost $10 million. Because I am abundance. I'm Jory Richard. I own a Christian daycare center where we teach the kids fucking bullshit. And I got a recording studio in the back room where we do Christian music. But I, I like that fucking hardcore rap too. Don't tell anyone that I do that hardcore gangster fucking kill shit. But we do the Christian music because that's what is marketable and it's easy to market the people that are living in ignorance because they're already under this program of M MK Ultra. So we're going to use it to our advantage to make some motherfucking money, right? Because that's what life is about. It's all about making the money and fuck everyone else. 
I'm being sarcastic. I I truly care about people, but then half of me, the other side of my brain is like, you know, it's all about you. Fuck everyone else. Get yours. Just being real. If someone can't be real to you, well, then you can't trust them. So you know that I could trust you because I'm the one that's telling you that I'm trying to fuck you over and I'm just doing it for the money. So why would I tell you that if I wasn't trustworthy and if I wasn't one of your closest friends? Huh? Huh? You know what I mean? So when I speak things, I speak it in the present tense as I already have it. I have a Victoria's Secret supermodel girlfriend. She's so fucking hot. She's coming over right now. See, I'm, I'm looking at my Rolex watch on my wrist. See, this is the subliner, the Rolex. It's like $14,000. You can't afford it. My Victoria Secret girlfriend is on her way right now, and I'm going to fuck her in paradise, in the Jory Richard Sanctuary, the, the kingdom. Which is my mind. This is the inside of my mind. So take take a look around at the inside of Joy Richards' mind. Welcome. Absorb the knowledge and let it process and then apply it to your life. So then it's wisdom. And then once you know that the shit works, then you have understanding. And you know, I ain't just pulling your leg. This is that real shit that I'm spitting. Mind over matter. That is a principle, right? Because you could say that our water is polluted and it has arsenic and fluoride, chlorine, all this bullshit nah, in the fucking water that calcifies your pineal gland, fucks you up, puts acid in your body. Or you could say mind over matter. It doesn't affect me because my mind is more powerful. But there's always the fact that when I fucking smell it, it smells like fertilizer. So does my mind change that chemical that's in there? Or it's because I believe that there's a chemical in there and therefore it is. How does this shit work? Am I truly creating the fucking chemical with my mind as it is in the cup? So there's a lot of fucking chemicals and pollutants in the water, heavy metals that's gonna fuck me up and then cause me to be impotent. And one philosophy is that mind over matter, that it won't affect me if my mind is stronger. And I believe that it, it's, it's not gonna harm me. If I believe it will harm me, then it will. But I, I do believe that there is an ultimate truth, and if there's some shit up in there, then your mind is not going to convince that, that there's no shit in there. It's still fucking contaminated. Unless you're like Chris Angel, and then you're pulling a fucking trick, and then you're taking the water, and then you're turning it into wine. Or in 2018 see jesus turned the water into wine but in 2018 there's like a piece of horse shit floating around in the water and then chris chris angel just takes it out of there so the water was polluted and it's no longer polluted because his mind is stronger than the shit that's floating around in the water so is the mind truly more powerful than the physical matter and are we creating this with our imagination or hey when that fucking water has a piece of shit in there don't fucking drink it if there's roundup weed killer in the fucking food i don't care how strong your mind is if you eat that shit it's fucking killing you your mind can become so powerful that you have the knowledge that you know hey i'm not eating that shit that shit is fucking tainted that is a poison apple so I attained the knowledge that when the witch came to me with the poison apple, I knew that, hey, if I eat that shit, that I'm going to die. 
Or I can have the mindset that my mind is more powerful. So then I could still eat that apple and I believe that there is no poison in it and therefore it is so. I don't believe that that's the case. That shit is fucking poisonous and it is our duty to ascend to a level of consciousness where our mind seeks truth and knowledge and then when we apply that then we won't eat the fucking poison. Because there's Roundup weed killer and all the fucking food and the meat puts parasites in our body. I, I really have to let that sink in that the meat fucking kills you. Because I'm still eating it. I, I'll be real. I ate a fucking cheeseburger today. So if you're a vegan, you can unfollow me right now and hate on me and then persecute me and then throw fucking rocks and shit and then have me bear my cross and then crucify me because I ate a fucking cheeseburger. Even though I'm completely against it and I'm all for the fucking animals. And it's fucking abuse, man. Peter all the way. Pandela, Pamela Anderson with her big fucking tits. I want to smack them around and then... Save animals. That's that's my purpose. That what I'm not the one. I'm not the one that's physically gonna save the fucking animals. I'm just gonna tell you, hey, this the shit fucking kills you. And the pigs, the pigs are cool. The pigs are really nice creatures. They're like dogs. They'll they'll come up and then with their little curly tails and then try to play with you. And <coughs> it, it, you could probably teach a pig to give you paw, but then. They just get turned into bacon and the fucking factories. It's it's disgusting. They're all shitting all over each other and their tails are getting snipped because the pigs bite the fucking other pigs' tails. And it's it's a big clusterfuck. It's so horrible. It pollutes our fucking water. And hey, T.Y. Davis, 2017. How you doing, bro? So I am a Gemini, meaning that my mind is going in all these different places at once. So, hey, hey, thanks for tuning in. My mind is going in all these different places at once. And what I need to do is organize. <coughs> these different topics, these different principles, different programs and shit and put, put them in the playlists. On the Jory Richard channel and on the Hecka set and the fucking cheesecake, most mostly the Jory Richard channel. And there has to be organization. Just firing all this random shit. Like I, I drop tons of jewels in these videos that truly will raise your fucking consciousness and just shatter your fucking reality. But it's just, there, there's not too much organization, but I'm, just know that I'm working on it. And there's many principles speaking things as if I have it right now. Like, I am so fucking abundant, and when I go outside, girls throw their fucking tits in my face, and I don't even know why. This is just what happens. And I truly believe that this shit fucking happens and therefore it is so because my mind is so fucking powerful. And then if I truly believe this, then I respond differently in life and then I get different shit. <laughs> yeah. So. Everything has to be put in order. Order! Order! Order, right? Order. And then march. March like like this. And then put everything in order. And then tell other people how to live, right? No, nah, no. Nah, don't tell other people how to live. Because then they're going to tell me how to fucking live. And I need to be in a state of paradise where I make my own decisions. That That would be one aspect of heaven. Being able to do what you want. I, I want to go over here. So then I walk over there. 
And then I do this. And then someone doesn't come up to me and then put fucking chains on my, uh, whatever these are called. They put chains on my fucking hands and then make me work for fucking paper and play a fucking game. I'm done playing Monopoly. I'm done playing this fucking shit. It's time for me to create my own world and I'm able to generate enough energy where I'm, I don't have to rely on anyone and be a little fucking whore. I, I, I don't want to be pampering myself up. And then putting the fucking makeup on my face so I can go whore myself at the end of the block. Translation, put on my little fucking khaki pants and then go down to the retirement home. And then work for someone else, make someone else rich. And when I was working the fast food restaurant, I had to wear the fucking name tag. And then the, the, the hat. And I couldn't wear my fucking cowboy hat at the place because I have to... Measure up to a certain reputation at these jobs because it's it's really slave labor, slave labor. I'm done being a slave. Who's done being a slave? Comment below, and I'm gonna open up a private Facebook group where we're all gonna organize together and get the fuck out of slavery, like. The, the door's open. We've been just brainwashed that this shit is normal. And this is supposed to be like this. Even though shit is really fucked. It's really fucked. We're practically cannibals around here. Like, the, the way that this society is arranged is fucked. Alright, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm Jory Richard. Peace. T.Y. Davis, thanks for watching. Roberto, Heavy Deep 420. I'm getting out of here, bro. See ya.